Hey, hey, Scorpio, welcome to your fortnightly astrology. What an intense couple of weeks it's going to be. There's some great stuff coming to you. You've got some brilliant ideas just sprouting out of you over the next two weeks, and you are on it. There's some fascinating conversations and opportunities heading your way. But let's start at the beginning. And in the beginning, uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, we have this Mercury squaring Neptune causing a lot of confusion, causing a lot of fog, causing a lot of people misunderstanding each other. Maybe someone talking about practical things and someone else wanting to have fun. There may be sort of all sorts of miscommunication around those areas. Security on the one hand, fun, wildness and passion on the other hand, or, or just talking at cross purposes with people. Do not worry about it. It will pass. And actually, you know, there may be something that comes up on a soul level that is interesting to learn. We then have um, Venus, which is um, in your sign, making you a love magnet, making you a, an, a, somebody who's very alluring at the moment, someone that has um, all this special kind of little wonderful energy coming off you. Also, it's a perfect time for you to love yourself and to transform things for yourself through love, and beauty, and seeing the world with love. Anyway, that is sex styling your ruler Pluto. Yes. Can't get much better than that. Um, and somebody is loving your ideas and you're loving someone else's ideas. And there's, there's this incredible communication going along. It might even be quite deep, quite sensual, quite sexy, uh, or, or just whatever it is, it really uh, vibrates with you and excites you. So look out for the 28th of December. That's a special day for you. Uh, we then have Mars conjunct Chiron. You're going through a deep healing on the 29th, you're healing your idea of what gives you pleasure, who gives you pleasure and what soul connections are to you. We have Sun conjunct Saturn in your communication zone. We have Mercury entering your communication zone. We have a solar partial eclipse in your communication zone. There is a big transformation coming around the way that you're communicating, possibly the way that someone's communicating with you. You're fired up with ideas and potential and vision for the future and something seriously important is coming up within the next two weeks, maybe after the first, that, that it, it speaks to you. You might even decide that there are some people that you don't want to communicate with anymore and that partial eclipse, you're like, boom, gone, finished, over. And you're able to really let that go. Uh, but do pay attention, keep a journal, write things down, keep a tape recorder by your bed, you know, or your phone and just capture the magic that's whizzing through you and double check all your emails, etc., because there could be some really big news coming your way in the next two weeks. Uranus is going direct, you know, not big deal necessarily for you, but you're, you're, you are maybe some work thing coming your way. There's been maybe things you've had to sort of deal with connected to the past work-wise. Now it's surprises coming in from the future and the present. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what the cards have in store for you. Wow, you got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's fire, there's passion. There's a, a real sense of achievement coming in in the next two weeks. And I reckon that's going to come out of some communication that's important. Don't, I mean, actually, one of the only problems you might have is you've got so many ideas and so much potential and so much that you want to do. You might be like, ah, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do the other? Uh, obviously, I would say in the second week, you're more likely to come up with uh, the right decision. You're carrying away the crap. This is a fantastic ace to have. It's like the, the opportunity for abundance to come your way. This is good. This is good. Passion, intensity, love and lust. You are reawakening your passion for life. There may be even a, a kind of a love connection that goes deeper, plunges you into an experience. Be careful who you trust, though. I mean, it's part of your nature anyway. You don't, you don't just trust anyone, but just... If you sense something, don't, um, you know, don't ignore your intuition, particularly around the time of the eclipse. It may be that through all this wonder and opportunity and brilliance that's going on around you or to reach your potential, you know, you might have to grieve the past. You might have to let go. I think you'll be reflecting on possibly an ex-lover or an old relationship. Um, may, that relationship may not even be around you now, but you're, you're just energetically letting it go. Do you know what I mean? Even if it's long over, you're now ready to release the energy. You're at a crossroads and you're ready to go on to the path. 
uh, that you've already seen or this awakening is coming in the next two weeks it's a it's a whole new journey coming up for you also there might be a taurus virgo or capricorn coming along that's going to help you in your way that you feel that you have a past life connection with it's like you just know each other you sense each other you bond with each other yeah this is looking great anyway have a fabulous um holiday time and you take care of your beautiful self speak to you soon